Greetings, everyone. Hello, hello. How are you doing? <clears throat> Let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I'm waiting for my phone to kick in. Make sure I can hear me. Can I hear me on my phone? I don't know. Yes. Yes, I can hear me. That's a plus sign. Now let's turn me down because I don't want to listen to me. <laughs> hello, hello, Ms. Maureen and Mr. Jim and PJB Stamper. Hello, hello, Jean Morin. Melissa K. Hello, hello. Ba 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 Crystals Creations. Wyckoff. Hello, hello. Maddie the Emptiness Scrapper. Hello, hello. Gloria, Gloria, you're welcome, Ms. Pam. She got some happy mail from me. Gloria Wolf, Linda G, hello, hello. Look at all the lovelies in the chatty McChatters and ha, ha, ha. You guys, we're pulling out some dies today. We're pulling out the uh, Tulip Trio by Simon Hurley. Um, he partners, he is now partnering with Spellbinders to make lovely, lovely dies. And I've got, <laughs> that looks weird. I've got some uh, Lunar Paste sheets. This one is still drying a little bit, as is this one. But this is Triple Berry. You guys, I had to pull out a new Triple Berry. I had to pull out a new one. And I'll show you guys. This is, I'm not lying, because I don't need to, right? Because this stuff is so fabulous. So, if you can see right here, it says Luster Paste. When these first came out, I thought I would go through them so fast. So, I bought two. Okay. I opened this one up today. It was on my user shelf to be used but it did dry out but look that's all that's left i literally used i would say 90 percent of what was in there but i could chop this up and i don't know put it in some mixed media project and make some interesting stuff um this happens as it gets lower i showed in another video my blue one it's it's about dead too, but it's again like this where there's not much in there. Okay, so if we look at this one, the brand new one, it also says Luster Paste. This is when they first came out. And like I said, I bought them at the same time. So well over three years now, but look it. Because I hadn't opened it, it was like brand spanking new. It didn't dry out in that time. I live in Ohio. Um, the This is kept in my attic where when it's hot outside, it's like 100 degrees up in the attic. Okay. Um, when it's cold outside, it's like <laughs> cold in the attic. Okay. So temperature change drastically in my attic. It does fine. Um, if you're not going to use it as much as I did, you know, over the three years, you just want to put a little bit of press and seal in there and push it down. So you'll actually do a, a chunk of press and seal, push it down in there, push out that air, and then seal that back up, and it's going to last you. And if you, <laughs> because look, I just, it's really neat. It's really neat when it peels off. And so you can do a lot of fun techniques with it. Ugh. But, so, if you buy two and you think you're going to go through them and you don't, just know that it will last on the counter if you don't open it. Now, where is... Uh, yeah, here, see? It's right on the top of my garbage. I literally just opened this today. So, you guys can see. It lasts a long time. It, it will last you. It will last you, especially if you put some press and seal over it. It should last you even longer. But again, when it gets low like this, 
there's so much air in there, it's going to dry it out much quicker. So I would say, you know, brand new, if you're not using it so much, it's going to still last you a long time. Um, but as it gets lower and lower, you're going to need that press and seal to push that air out so it doesn't dry it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so mine, like I said, is brand new. It's been sitting in my attic for a long time. But look at how butamous it spread so... <laughs> I wish you guys could feel it. It's so smooth. <sighs> so smooth and pretty. But this is triple berry. And then this one, it's still drying. There, It's still a little wet in there. But this one is fake plant. Look it! Isn't it just yummy? Fake plant and triple berry. Now these are going to be my tulips and my leaves, right? But we're going to give them some highlight. Look at these colors. Oh my goodness. We're going to put... When we've done cutting these out, we're gonna we're gonna swipe on some um, dart frog and some mood ring. These are the new. Uh, are they gorgeous? These are the new neons, and we're gonna show you how to use neons as a highlight. So if you're like, I don't know why I need a neon, I show you. I show you. You need it for a highlight. Or if, if you put water in that and. Oh, what if you put water in it? Um, once it's dry like that, I don't think you can reconstitute it. In another video, where did I put? Um, please hold. In another video, this one, this one is like getting crusty. Okay, but it's still pliable a little bit. I did add some water to a chunk of this and was actually able to reconstitute it. Um, I need to add, but it's starting to dry really quickly. So again, it's used up. It's the old um, luster paste, original. Um, but yeah, if it's still sticky, if it's still sticky, you can add some water to it and it will reconstitute, but you got to work it. You got to work it really good. Just so you know. Just so you know. But yeah. Mary's Crafty Creations. Shay. Hello. Hello. Ooh, Crystal got the new neons. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But from my own personal experience, like, you guys, I've got a lot of videos, and I do use quite <laughs> quite a bit. I do. I do. So, I can attest that it does last a really long time, well over three years, well over three years unopened. So, this one was unopened, just sitting around hanging out and stuff, and it's fabulous. But before we get going, you guys, I have Happy Meal. I would like to share my happy meal with you. Uh, you guys. Um, yeah, that's my address. You can send me happy meal. I'll, I'll send you something in return. But look. Look at those stamps. Aren't they cute? It's from Germany. It's from Germany. You want to see what came from Germany? Oh, an orange card. Oh, she didn't sign the back. Rotten, but look, look at how cute that little rabbit is from Germany, you guys. And I love it. We have glitter, papery stuff going on. We've got gems, my favorite color. Can't can't go wrong with that. And it's from Marion, M A R I O N. Marion. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it or butchering it, but isn't that the cutest? cutest little card and you know what this is not this is a four by almost six you guys it's almost six inches but not quite what is this so it's a very unique size 
from Germany. I, I actually like this little bitty size. It's just a tad over four inches. Okay, and then it is a tad under six inches. It's like a little four by six. I don't know. I don't know why, but that's super cute. But the envelope fits it really nicely. Look at that. But yeah, so I got some German postage. I'm super excited about that. Uh, da, 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 da. Diane of Oz. Hello, hello. Uh, how do we know her? So, um, I don't know. <laughs> She's on my, my mailer. But I don't know if she watches YouTube or um, if she was um, from somebody else's YouTube. But she made it to my mailer, my personal mailer. So she's gotten some Christmas cards, some Thanksgiving cards. Um, if you guys would like a Christmas card or a holiday seasonal winter card, um, you can email me at chatwithsassy at gmail.com. If you don't celebrate Christmas, but you would like to be included in my Christmas mailer, just say no Christmas and I'll send you something with snowflakes or penguins or something wintry. You will receive a winter card at Christmas time just because, but yeah, so, oh, don't look at her address, but it's cool. You guys look, she, she lives in Kiel. Isn't it cool? I got a jerk. Sorry, you guys. I like, I like foreign mail. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. And then somebody else mailed me some happy mail. Some happy mail. Mr. Jim did not leave a note in here. So he did not tell me. I could not say he sent me happy mail. So Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim. You guys, look it. <gasps> Aren't they just fabulous? So, um, he, he tried this pancake thing where they put the stuff down and then you pancake it in the pancake maker. Um, he posted it. I don't know if he posted it to our group, but he posted it on his, his Facebook because yes, Jim and I are Facebook friends, but look, he sent, and it's like embossing powdery stuff. And then it's melted on. This one's a wooden piece. These guys are wooden pieces. But look at that cute little bunny. Isn't he just grungerific? I mean, just look at that. I'm going to go take these downstairs and hang them up. They're going to go on my mantle. And then these ones. These are alcohol ink. That one's got a little bit of glitter from one of those guys. But look at that egg. Isn't it beautiful? I love these eggs. They're going into my Easter stuff, Mr. Jim. They're mine. <laughs> but yeah, so those are super, super nice. I like those. But these are like an, uh, maybe acrylic overlay or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if you use your pancake maker for making pancakes, don't use it for your arts and craft. Go to the thrift store, buy another one. But, uh, and then I think these are kind of for me and Pam and anybody else that loves dinosaurs. Look at these. These are the Hobby Lobby dinosaurs. I Do you know how many times I walk by these, Jim? Jim and I'm like, oh, I should get these. No, don't get them. Yes, get them. And I never did get them. But, um, yeah. So I get two of these. So one is going to be mine. And then... For Christmas, I'll have to make Pam, Pam a dinosaur card. <laughs> but aren't they cute? And I, it's you guys. Pam does not really like love dinosaurs. It's a thing we got going. So yes, it's <laughs> we do, we just uh, share dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Grew up drawing dinosaurs and stuff. But yeah, uh, Pam is not that into dinosaurs. <laughs> But they're flipping cute. So thank you, Mr. Jim. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I love these. I do. They're going to hang on my little mantle. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the little brat cat will leave it alone. But yeah, it's fabulous. 
I'm going to tuck those back in there so I can remember to take them downstairs. Janine, hello, hello. Rawr, that's right, rawr. So we got some mail from Germany and mail from Mr. Jim. And in Germany, that's Marion. It's lovely, it's lovely. Oh, she does like them. She does like dinosaurs, but probably not as much as I do. <laughs> probably not as much as I do. Okay, you guys, we need to get cracking. Cracking, cracking. This should be a pretty easy card. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do the tulip trio, but we're gonna put a little something or something in there. Um, I'm hoping this is dry enough that we can go ahead and do some die cutting. Die cutting. Um, you do want your lunar paste dry. Now I did. Okay, you guys, I did put this down about an hour ago and use the heat tool to try and expedite the heating process, right? So we're going to set these on here. And this is just one way to get the lunar paste on your thing. It's just do a full sheet and cut it, you guys. Or you could cut the pieces and then lunar paste after. I mean, you can do whatever makes you happy. I prefer the full sheet method because then I just put it on the spatula, draw it down, and it's good and golden. Okay. Look at, hopefully, hopefully they're not just stuck in there, but look at that. And here's a fun, fun tidbit. When you die cut out of lunar paste, okay, it makes it kind of plasticky. Okay, so this is kind of like a piece of plastic, right? So you could literally, literally, literal, literally, I don't even know, literally, <laughs> that word just sounds funny, literally use it as a template okay because it is a plasticky consistency it's going to hold its shape really nicely okay like so and and you can wipe off the ink just like a stencil okay and then um, I think this one would go like so, like so. Uh, of course, you would tape it off, but I'm just going to show you that you can do, um, I'm just going to place it right in there. Go like so, see that? And then we'll put this one, I don't even know, we'll put that one there. I probably put that one in the wrong area, but that's okay. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea that you can potentially use your lunar paste cut out as stencils, okay? And you would just cover up the areas that you don't want go through because, you know, some of the area is really thin. But you could make them into stencils and they'll be reusable because it's like a plastic. I mean, yeah, you could rip it and whatnot, but getting that inky goodness, this will last quite a bit. So that is an option for you. I'm going to put our crown me back. Put our little note thingy back. Put that back. We're putting things away, you guys. We're putting things away. I know. Who does that? What? We're going to... Yes, they were dry. Look at that. Look at... Look at... The lunar paste, when you cut it, it just... Ugh. Look at that line work in there. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Mm. But so there's that. Let's cut some leafery. We need some leafery. We need stems for our leafery. This set comes with two, which is nice. So I only have to cut it twice. And then um, you just cut some leafery out. And I'm just gonna try and fill this the best I can. I'd like to get as many in here as possible. And we want to make sure our dies do not overlap. Because if you have an overlapping die, it's going to cut and bend the die. And we don't want that. So just make sure there's plenty of space. Um, try not to <laughs> bounce it around like a Dorcas. Don't worry. We got this. We got this. Okay, so we're going to set this on here. We're going to lift it all up. Make sure everybody's on the page. Just like so. And send it through. Now, while I was creating the background, I don't know what happened. But I had green. Oops. I had green all over my desk. So, I took a sheet of white and dabbed it into the green and pulled it up and doing so because I was quick um, it left a really cool texture in there so we're also going to cut some of that out and then I added some more water and was able to get another sheet of that and there was still enough left I tell you I don't know I had issues and so then I picked some more up of the runny runny leftovers because even if there's not very much lunar paste color down if you pick it up on black especially you're going to be picking up more of the mica so this is the last of the cleanup and we've gone from this beautiful green to this one to this one and to finally that one. But again, I had a lot of paste down on the, the thing. Okay. But uh, you can. Whoop. Did that one? Yep, it cut through. There we go. But uh, so you can have it textured by smooshing it. Or you can have it smooth. It's so cool. I mean, the things, you can have it any way you want, you guys. It's like Burger King, <laughs> right? Is it Burger King? You get it the way you want it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't eat Burger King. And I, <laughs> the McDonald's around here, they ain't getting my business either. They messed up my order way too much. And we ordered a breakfast burrito and I it was nasty you guys it was nasty <gasps> Sandy Visker hello hello how are you so we're gonna use our little pokey tool um here's another tip okay when you're doing these intricate dyes with texture paste and stuff be gentle because if if by chance is still wet you could potentially rip it so be sure to poke at all the holes okay if they give you three holes poke all three then you're going to come to the end that's lifted and you're going to slowly help it because you don't want to go too fast and ruin it but look at our beautiful shiny stem isn't that gorgeous? It's so gorgeous. I know, I know. And we need one more stem. And it doesn't have to be a whole stem. Okay, I just need enough of a stem for my third flower. Because remember, we have enough petals to do three flowers. So I'm going to set this on here. And I'm going to see that that is probably going to be just enough. We'll get a little short stem. It's okay. We can, we can have long stem, short stem. We're going to squeeze that in there. Okay. 
again poking at all of the holes get that in there to help oh look at that and see something did that peel it no i don't know why but that might have just been the thingy i don't know so we're gonna poke both ends poke a little bit more and then we're gonna whoo look at that look at that look at it okay poke both ends get in there slowly because like i said i wasn't sure if this green was fully dry and it's kind of sticking right there so i'm just gonna gently pull it and there we have it isn't it pretty Again, this is Tulip Trio by Simon Hurley. Okay, look at that leafery. And I want more leafery. I want more leafery on my card. So I'm going to do some textured leafery because I can. Nobody said I couldn't. So we're going to pull this out. We're going to grab our stem. But see that? We were able to poke that hole poke that right out look at that so we just have a little short stem and I like the the area they gave us for gluing our flowers to so we've got three stems I'm gonna grab this nice dark texture for some background leaves because why not or foreground maybe the ones in front we can see the texture better um I got more on the last sheet. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Don't mind me. I don't know how I had that the last time. Okay, let's let's try this. <laughs> so I had that there. I had that like there. And then I had this one here, and then I had this one here-ish. And that's how, I don't know, I don't know how we did it, but this is how we're doing it now. Because I'm, this piece is really ticking me off. Lay flat! Um, no, I'm not going to use the two leaf pieces upside down. I will show you what I saw. I actually looked on, um, so I, words are hard. Words are hard. Stay right there. Stay put, heathens. And you, you stay there. Um, so <laughs> the last card I made, I put, you can put it any way you want, but I was told mine was upside down. I don't know if mine was upside down, but they said it was upside down, but I liked it the way I put it. So you can put it any way you want. So there's this little piece right there. That's what we're talking about. Okay, they said it's upside down. And I'm like, no, it's not. And I just lost the leaf. Are you kidding? Where'd it go? It fell. You guys, please hold. Oh, are you kidding? No, I'm not. Where'd it go? Okay, my leaf, <laughs> my leaf fell, fell. Like, fell, fell. Ha 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 ha! I used, look it, I used my pickup wand. I got it, I got it. Okay. Ooh. So this particular one, okay, I decided to put like this. And they said it's upside down. And I'm like, no, it's not. And technically, I was right. If you look at how they used it. But the way they used it is they said the leaf is leaning over 
So it's actually this part, oops, let me get in here. This part is actually coming off the leaf and then the leaf is hanging over. So that's what that is. So it does go like that, but not the way I had it. And then, then you can put another leaf with it because this roundy part is the bottom and you could go like so, okay? But you can literally do anything you want with these. You could even cut this apart and tuck it in differently. You know, there's a lot of ways to do it. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be like growing out and hanging over, which I actually do kind of like. So there's that. And then we have more leafery. Our leafery with texture, because we love texture. Bunny boxes. Oh, thank you. Yes, I had them done the other day. They were looking long and shabby. I go once a month to have my nails done. Um, if you're wondering how acrylic nails can last a whole month, don't pick at them. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a nail person that was like, if you pick at your nails, I will stop seeing you. <laughs> And I was like, Ugh. so yeah, I, it was hard, but if you don't pick, um, they last and, uh, yeah, they last, they last. Oh wait, you know what? Let's, I'm not going to poke out the flowers just yet. Okay. Uh, oh, the bulls, the bulls, the bulls are being bad. Get up there. Nope. Okay, fine. Where am I going to put you? You're being bad. Get off me. Okay, look at all this. Oh, look it. Even though it's the same color, right? It's the same color. Fake plant. Same white paper. I'm using 65 pound accent opaque. Okay? It doesn't have to be scrum diddly um just kind of paper. But... You can. You can if you want to. But look it. Isn't that beautimous? Oh, it's so great. But I'm going to put these little guys in the background because we're going to add some highlights to our, um, our main pieces. And we're going to come in with a little bit of a surprise. So we've got our three stems. Even though one is shorter, that's perfectly fine, right? We can have them any height or whatever, and we can even hide the shortness of the stem in some leafery. So we're gonna have um, our dark front, our lighter back colors, and I know the dark ones are probably supposed to be in the back, but I'm a rebel and I'm gonna do it any way I want. So I'm putting the dark ones in the front, <laughs> cause I can. And that's all I have to say about that. Okay. Let me get my magnet sheet. My magnet sheet. My magnet sheet. Okay. Somehow. I don't know. That's going to work. Okay. And then we have our flowers. Look it. We're going to use all the holes. And stab it. Stab it. It's a great way to take out your frustrations, you guys. Just stab it. And then, oh my gosh, look it. Look it. Isn't that just gorgeous? So easy. But we're going to add some highlights to these. Stay put, you. Doggy time. Alien guns. <laughs> Use all the holes because we don't want to rip our lovely project. We're just going to 
And also note, okay, if you use a lot of lunar paste, you're probably gonna get it shoved in the holes. Okay, that little piece, I heard somebody yelling. I'm not sure if it's my kid or the neighbor. Please hold. I don't think it's my daughter because she's replying pretty quickly. Somebody's yelling. It, yeah, it's the neighbors. I didn't like the tone. I didn't like the tone. I want to make sure it's not my kids. Okay, so and then... Oh my goodness. Look at that. These do say one, two, three on them, so you know that the big one's the base, that one's the middle, and then your end piece. And I think that one actually goes on that side, which is going to cover up that ugly nub. And then this one is going to go on this side. But look it. Isn't that gorgeous? And we're going to add a little bit of a little bit of that neon to it, and I think it's just going to look really cool. I was ready you guys I was ready to go out and uh, see what the heck was going on people be yelling <laughs> and so this here also there's a thin thin outline and that is for that okay that is for that it's showing us and then there is another kind of you can kind of see this weird little outlining piece and it's going to be for this piece right there. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Super simple. Just tulip trio. Each of them has a little bitty doodad. I just think it's fabulous. But um, you guys, are you ready for the surprise? <laughs> I think it's going to work. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Um, we have the Simon Hurley Easter Bunnies. And this little guy right here, this little critter right there, I think it's going to be perfect. Where are my stamping blocks? If I was a stamping block, where would I be? You guys, I rearranged just a little bit too much. There's my big stamping block. Do you, oh, do, do you guys have a little stamping block? Like, can you help me out? We're gonna use, we're gonna use, we're gonna color with, where's my stamping block? Oh, I found them. Found my stamping block. And look, I have a scrap of piece of paper here. We're going to hide this guy in the bigger the bigger tulip. So if you want a lot of bunnies or whatever, I would use the bigger tulip multiple times. Ugh, look it. So cute. But we're going to take this little guy. We just need one. And we're going to color him up. And I'm going to fussy cut him right to the edge. Right to the edge, you guys. Because that's what I need to do. And I am going to try and get a color. Ugh. 
I don't even know if I can. Let us, let us color the bunny. Let's have a brownish bunny. Oh, that's a nice brown. And I'm just going to get some of this color in there. Super cute little bunny. This is an Arteza Everblend art marker. Um, these are the... I don't know if I'll need his little paws, but I'm going to go ahead and color them anyways. We'll get a nice pink. And then I think I'm going to do a little bit of shadowing. I know I don't do a lot of shadowing, you guys. This guy looks like he needs a little bit of shadowing. Not that dark, though. Not that one. Back it up. Back it up. Not that one either. <laughs> Come on. Let's try this one. Oh, there. There we go. So we're going to add a little bit of shadow in some areas. Okay, not, not too fancy schmancy. Okay, this ear is over this one for sure. This is going to be maybe a little shadowy there. Um, definitely shadowy under the nose. By this eggshell. Maybe a little bit in his toesies. And then by his little eye, his little eyebrow. Because why not? Okay. So that's not too bad. Just a little bit of shadow. Oh, you guys couldn't even see. A little bit of shadowy. Okay. And then we're going to do... Um, I do want... I want to make sure the egg... The, I want the egg to look like the flower. So I'm going to grab the lunar paste. And I'm going to grab a paintbrush. Okay. And I'm going to just try and paint it in there. Oops. I'm going to use a dry brush. Okay. I'm going to use a dry... Oh, wait. i got to do his nose first. You guys, let me get out of here without doing his cute little pink bunny nose. And his little pink ears. There we go. There. I know. I'm sorry, you guys. Can't see the bunny. Well, you can see it now. I don't want any water in this, so I'm going to just make sure that I just pull out the teeniest amount. I promise you won't need, you won't need much at all. And then I'm just going to plop, I said teeniest amount, that's actually quite a bit. Let me get some of that off of there. Let's put that back. Uh -huh. We don't need that much. Okay. Gosh, I'm just... Okay, we got our lunar paste on there, and then I'm just going to kind of push it where I want it to go. Okay. And most of this is going to get um, hidden away anyways. But we want that same color of paste. So it looks like it's part of the flower and not an egg. I hope that makes sense. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. Come here, you. Just get that little bit of whiteness gone. There we go. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush really quick because if you're painting with paste you got to clean those bristles or you're going to need a new one and I do use a dedicated brush so this I use for all of my metallic -y paints that have some sort of mica in them just so that I don't have to share the 
mica with everything. I hope that makes sense. And then we're gonna dry this little bubby. And if you're painting and it's not dark enough for you, you can dry it and then go back in and add more to it. So don't feel like you um, have to be like one and done. And you can help heat set it. Just know that if you heat it too long, it could bubble and be, be all weird. And we're going to get our fancy schmancy scissors. Um, these do have a die if you like. Okay. Because who doesn't like die cutting? Uh -huh. Yes, I have seen Simon Hurley creativation videos that are on other people's channels. Because I can't get enough of the lunar paste. <laughs> Don't judge me. Uh, but I'm going to cut literally right up to the black line because our cut out tulips, right, they Okay, yeah, look at that. They don't have any white. So normally I wouldn't mind white, but because of the way our die cut tulips are, I want our little bunny to match. So I don't want, I don't want any white. And here we go. Here we go into the creases. <laughs> Can't even cut this. I should have left some hanging on room. My bad. I always do that. <sighs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't watched, I've missed a lot of stuff. I got to go back and watch, um, Mr. J's videos. I missed him the other, I think he was on the other day. Yeah, Sunday. I missed him Sunday. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Sleeping probably. Okay, so there's our bunny all chopped out. I mean, I could go all anal and cut out that little white piece. Oh, I could, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to this time, but know that you can use your exacto knife and cut out that little bitty teeny weeny piece. Was pumping my car tires in the front yard. <laughs> Your boy kitties was judging you. Mr. Simon Hurley. Hello, hello. How are ya? Okay. Oops. So, oops. Let's get you back. Back where you belong. Don't go floating off, you guys. Wait, is that the one that goes to that? Yes. That one goes to that. You guys. Did you see me just waft them everywhere? <laughs> But we've got, <laughs> we've got some Ranger black heavy stock. I like to call it the black hole paper because it's black. Okay. This is Hobby Lobby, AKA uh, Hobby Lobby and Michaels in the paper that I buy. They're about the same color black, but you can see how black that Ranger is. And it's so smooth. So I thought yeah look at look at how those just shine right on there oh it's so yummy but i do need to trim this down a hair because you know i do like a little a little um bordering and i'm going to use the decal trimmer i'm just going to take a teeny bit off of all the sides until i get it down to four by five and a quarter okay 
so we're going to do four by five and a quarter. I don't know why I did that. Let's rotate, and now we're going to go down to four, and then five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, right there. So we have this nice, <laughs> got stuff everywhere. We're going to get a white card base. Do, 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 and see that? Look at how lovely that is. That deckle trimmer. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, if you do. <laughs> yeah. That would be so fun. That would be fun. I'm totally jelly of Debbie J. She got to meet Mr. Simon Hurley again. It's so sad. But that's okay. We're okay. Okay, so now we're going to put this together. We're going to set our base aside. We're going to put this together, you guys. So remember, I cut some of my cleanup sheets. They're, they've got the little bit of texture. So I'm going to put those down first. Um, I'm going to make sure... Um, bum, bum, bum. I may not use that one. But we're going to put these in the back just as a little bit of filler. Okay. Just a little bit of filler. And then we have our other um, fake plant. Remember, that's what we use, some fake plant. And, oh, it's so pretty on there, isn't it? And we're just going to, actually, I'm going to put this one in the center. We're going to scooch that one over. We're going to put those there. I don't even know. I might need to let those hang off a little bit. And then we're going to have a flower there. Probably not that tall. Put a flower there. And a flower there. And then we'll put our short little stem. Because remember, we don't mind if we cut it short. We're going to put that over there. Kind of step it down, right? And then we're going to figure out if we want... I think I want the big one in the center. And then we're going to tuck... You guys, we're going to tuck this little bunny in there. Oh, look it. Oh my gosh, he fits right in there. Ah, <laughs> so he is actually between one and two. Okay. And we're going to squish him between one and two. We'll get that going. And then we'll put this one here. Actually, I think I want that down further. We'll put that one there. We'll put that one there. And then we'll put this one. Yeah. So we'll have that center one up just a little bit higher. Oops, that doesn't go there. I'm trying to give him extra pieces here. You go there. You go there. And you guys go there. But yeah, so we'll do that. And then we're going to put these guys on the front. And we're going to take a little bit of our neon. Okay, we're just going to take a little bit of our neon. And just give a little bit of a highlight. You guys, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I wish you guys could see this in real life. You don't need a ton. You don't need a ton. And we're just going to put a little bit of that neon right down one side. One side. We're picking a side. We're picking sides, you guys. We're going <laughs> to look. I'm putting it on my fingernail, too. We're just going to put a little bit of that right down one side. That brightness against that green. Well, the green against the green is just scrum diddly um chest. And because this one is um, hanging over, we're going to bring that just a little bit more. Just kind of fan that out a little bit. There we go. There's our hangover leaf. 
He had a little too much to drink. He's got a hangover. Okay. So those are our deep, deep colored fake plant leaves with a little bit of highlight from our neons. Okay. And then we're going to do the tips of the flowers with the, uh, you guys, this is dart frog, by the way. You should know that by now. I'm just saying. No, I'm joking. Um, we're gonna use. We're gonna do the same thing with the flowers, okay? But I'm just gonna put a little bit. Hmm, it's not as. It's not as neony against the triple berry. I probably should have used the crown me. I think these are a little bit too similar. But you know what? It's still butamous, and we're just going to dab that right at the tip. Okay. Because look at that. Can you see that? It just changes it. Just changes it. And you could even you. I'm only going to do, I'm going to do just the, the outer ones. Or no, one and three. There we go. And then that'll be, yeah, look at that. I like that. I like that a lot. So we're going to add a little bit of this to the tips here. And it's a good way to change up your paste. So if you just want a new look, I think I'll just do the back one on this one. I mean, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I'm okay with it not being so neony. And I think I'll put a little bit on this one. Just a little bit. Get my lid. It's easier to dab in that. Oh, that looks that looks better. If we go on a little bit thicker, it's it shines a little bit more. Oh, I like that. Mm -mm. So there's that one. And then this one, we're going to dab again. We're going to come down further for this one. You guys, I've got lunar paste everywhere. And I'm not sad about it. Okay, so we got that one. And I think I'll leave the other, the other ones alone for that. Okay, so we added a little bit of highlight to those. It really stood out, you guys. It really stood out on this one, though. Look at that. Ugh, so yummy. Okay, let's put this bad boy together. Let's grab some glue. Dart frog, a dart frog. When am I ever... You guys? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let me... This one's probably dry. It's almost dry. That's number three, and this is number two. So we're just going to add our glue. And this one goes to the edge of that one, like so. Okay. And you can see, especially in the lunar paste, there's this line that kind of goes through there. And it is for the base of this one telling us that it's going to go right there. I love that about these dyes. They do have little helper indications for you. Um, you can definitely go to um, the websites like Spellbinders. And I bet your Ranger does too. But Spellbinders has... Um, some cards that are already made so you can look at them for some inspiration there's that little flower we're going to do this guy next and it's going to be fabulous again we used the um, why is there green on there I don't even know it's underneath don't worry. We'll we'll bury it. 
get a little green. Okay, and uh, this is so pretty. That goes right there. Yes, it does. More that way. You can see there's that little indication right there that says that's going to go there. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there to follow that indication. And of course, you don't have to follow the indications, right? You can, oops, I put mine upside down. You can, you can do it any way you want to. You can put it together upside down. They won't, the, they won't come get you. I promise. Okay. So now this one's going to be a little bit on the trickier side because we're going to squish <laughs> the little Simon Hurley Easter Bunny. We're going to squish this one right in here so that just, he just kind of pokes out. Okay. And see, we use some of that same lunar paste on the egg so it still looks like the cuteness that it is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze some glue in there and hold it. Okay. That way there. Now this is glued to this. I can come down here and pull this apart a little bit. Squeeze in a little bit of glue in there. Okay. So now he's attached to our bottom. We can go ahead and add in our upper piece. And to give that illusion that he's tucked in, you want to make sure the rabbit does not come out this out the sides, okay? You need him to be in the flower. Look at it. <laughs> oh, that's our little surprise. Our little surprise. So if you guys have any kind of little bitty critter, I bet you you can make it peek through any of these tulips. Um, teeny tiny critters, you know, you could go into the smaller one, this one, this one, and this one, I think are the best for the, the little critters. And then, you know, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to flick them back a little because look at that. We could give a little bit of texture. So you don't have to glue them all the way down. You can give a little flick. So he's a little extra. Then we're going to take our little doodad and we're just going to plop that right on there. Yes, I, I, need, <laughs> I need to send out an official invite for Mr. Simon Hurley again. He's a busy man, you know. He makes, he makes all these wonderful products that I need to buy. <laughs> ah! That was supposed to stay. Stay, heathen. <laughs> yeah, Jean lives kind of close by to the Simon Hurley area. I would be a stalker. No. <laughs> My fingers, my fingers are all lunar pasty, but, um, yeah, we'll just clean off our little card. Okay. So we've got our little stems. Look at how cute those are. And you can do them any way you want. And you know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is glue the flower parts down, but not the stems. I'm not going to glue the stems because I might need to put some um, leaves behind them. Okay, so we're just going to put that one there. Really like that one there. So we're going to glue our bunny and the top half down. taking up that card just look at that okay and then we're gonna do that and we're gonna plop this one 
you know what i should have put a little pop dot on that one let's get a pop dot on that guy that's not gonna stay there it's not going to stay there i need it up so we're just going to take a little bit of a foam dot um, right here in this glue area. Hopefully, hopefully. Yep. Just going to glue that right there. There we go. Okay, so now we've got that popped up. And we'll just use another little foamy dot to pop up. Oh, I grabbed the wrong scissors. You come here. Um, we'll pop up. will pop up a leafery now this okay we're gonna go in with our lighter color ones i want those behind everybody so i'm gonna plop some glue down just come kind of some filler filler leaves so we're gonna put that one there again we used to triple berry and then I tried to highlight it a little bit with the mood ring. Just note that the mood ring and triple berry are a little bit too close to do a nice pop of color. Um, I bet you it, this would look better on Crown Me. I'll have to try it next time. And then I'm going to put this leaf here. And then we've got this leaf here. These are just some background leaves. Oops. <laughs> Stay put. It's sticking to my fingers. <laughs> okay. And um, even though the greens look a little bit different, this is just later gator thick and then dabbed on. So you can do any way that you want. And then I think I'm going to put these leaves here just so I don't have to waste any leaves because I did cut them out. We're going to make this lean over leaf. We're going to make it into two leaves because we can do whatever we want like so. And then we'll just. Tr <laughs> these are just not wanting to stick today. Stay put heathen. Okay, just like so. And then we're going to use a foam on these. Because why not? Put a little bit of foam on this lean over one. This is my super thick foam. Because we can. We can do whatever we want. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Okay, so this lean over one, I'm gonna have it come right here and go right there like so. Look at that. And see, we use that neon dart frog over there. And so we have this nice little highlight. Oh, I love it. And then we're gonna we're gonna put this one here, maybe. And then we're gonna put this one. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, we're gonna put that one there, but we're gonna cut it off at the bottom. So you can have this as leafy as you you know what? Let's pop that one up. I know I just glued it, but I changed my mind, you guys, because I can do that. We're gonna go in here and grab this chunk. Now she wants the bunnies. I tell you, these bunnies. And just because bunnies come out more at uh, Easter time, don't forget your bunny friends out there that like bunnies all year round. And the, the whole set. I mean, they're super cute. But you've got bunnies without eggs. This is definitely cute for Valentine's. Um, 
thinking of you, love you, miss you, will you go out with me kind of thing. This one here, another friendshipy kind of one. This one here, even though that is an egg, you could turn it into a rock, you know, and definitely have that one being a thinking of you, especially the little chickies. All season. I would say these, these are the two that are super Eastery. But look at that. That one's got a balloon. You can have that all year round. I love that about these, that you can adjust them all year round. All year round. Okay. We're gonna... <laughs> Guys, I'm taking up all your time because I want all your time hanging out with me. Yeah. Oh, that would be really good. A little pillow. You could do like a little um, plushy, plushy pillow. Okay. So yeah, I like that. Look at that. We have that one going over that. Oh, we got to get this one in here. And we're going to put that one. Yep, you know what? We're going to put that one over that one. And we're just going to leave it. We're going to glue it at the bottom, but leave it at the, leave the top open. Because we can. We can do whatever we want. Okay. And so now we have this cute little, little jungly of tulips. Isn't it gorgeous against that black, though? I'm really wishing I would have cut that out. But you know how we can get rid of it, you guys? We're going to dab that little white area away. Because it's going to bother the heckaroni out of me. Look at that. Now, if this was a white card, that wouldn't have bothered me. But look, we just made that go away. Isn't that the greatest? So all we got to do now is we got to do some snippity snip snips. And we remember we used our jaggedy jaggedy cutter thingy. So I'm just going to kind of follow those jaggedy teethies. It's not going to be perfect. Nobody's going to know. But uh, get that little snip there. Okay, and then we're going to glue this down to our base. Oh my gosh. And that white is just going to help everything else pop out. Now, this will probably be really pretty on any black paper. I am using the, what I call the black hole paper from Ranger Ink. It's the black heavy stock it's rather expensive compared to like buying bulk black paper from hobby lobby and michael's it's expensive i'm not gonna lie it's expensive but look at you know i wouldn't be making a hundred of these cards unless of course i was selling them so if you need a hundred of these let me know i can make them for you <laughs> but um yeah so oh my goodness just look at that. And all of the dimension in there. Ugh, that dart frog over the fake plant. That was a good combo. It was kind of a miss with the mood ring over this. But I think if we try it next time on Crown Me, it would be better. But I still like that it gave it a little bit of a change. And it, it just adds, it just adds to it, you guys. And then we do have leaves with texture and smooth leaves. So you can mix and match all the things, all the things. And don't be sad if you have something like that. Just don't be sad. It's okay. But, uh, oh, <laughs> I, yeah, but there, woo, look at, there's our, um, Tulip Trio Spellbinders Simon Hurley collab. I don't know how that collabs, but oh, those are the rabbits. But yeah, if you want to die cut the um, Easter bunnies, do die cut. 
so you can have that but uh oh and i forgot a leaf we could even put another leaf on yeah so i have an i have an extra leaf i have an extra leaf but uh i think it turned out pretty cute that's a good little combination of die cuts and stamps we used the little bunny out of the Easter bunnies by Simon Hurley. Isn't he so cute? Just poking out of there. Oh, it's, it was like they were made to go together. And I bet you the little baby chick would be cute in there too. Oh, we could have done the little bum sticking out, you guys. We missed an opportunity there. That one, I bet you, would fit right in this one like he's getting into the flower. Ugh, missed opportunity. We could have a lot of bum jokes. <laughs> Not bum, as in <laughs> bum. Yeah, that one. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. And um, we will see you... Um, please hold, because I don't know when I'm going to see you again. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you Monday, um, April 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to see you Tuesday on Debbie J's channel, I think, if she's back. I think she's back then. And then I'll see you Wednesday at 7 p.m. back here on my channel and uh yeah we'll we'll have some fun stuff remember paper craft pattern paper mondays and then wednesdays i don't know if you guys have ideas for lives and whatnot go ahead and sh send them out tushy jokes totally tushy jokes that's what i'm talking about but uh we <laughs> we will see you guys next time and uh look at just mm, aren't they so pretty yeah they just they they oh, just look it look it you guys i love it i'm sorry i gotta show you more look it look it <laughs> anyways bye wild wins yes <laughs> <laughs> Happy Easter, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Ooh, a caterpillar eating the leaves. That's a good idea.